Number 32, letter A. Find the magnitude and direction of an electric field that exerts a 4.8 times 10 to the minus 17 Newton westward force on an electron. All right, so uh, number 27 might also help you out a little bit if you'd like to check out that video. Um, I talked about the electric field there uh, a little bit uh, in detail. All right, so let's start with this uh, electron. So this point will represent the electron. It's negative. Let me plug it on up on the top. It's negative what? Now, what's the charge of an electron? We've got to memorize this. It's going to be negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Actually, you might not have to memorize it. I see a lot of students now, um, professors are allowing them to have like a little cheat sheet, uh, which is great. Um, I was traumatized, so I didn't have that. Um, anyway, so we now know that there is a westward force on this electron. Westward, right? So there is a force pointing in this direction. Okay. So there's a force here. Now, there's a force. Why is there a force? Well, something is pulling this electron, right? Something's pulling it, or something's pushing it. We can think about it either way. If I'm talking about it over here, right, I'm going to draw a little, little bar. And this is where number 27 might help. What charge should I make this bar to provide a pulling force on the electron, on the negative electron? I would make this positive, wouldn't I? Right? That provides a quote-unquote pulling force. Well, now what happens if I place another bar on this side? What, what charge should I make this bar now to provide a pushing force, maybe, to the left? Well, if this is an electron, and I know opposites repel, excuse me, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Uh, opposites attract, likes repel. So if I know that likes repel, then I'm going to make that negative, okay? Now, this is the key. I now can draw in the electric field, okay? If I have some region that's positive on the left and some region that's negative on the right, how does the electric field lines point? Remember, they always point from positive to negative, always. And guess what we just found? We just found the direction then of the magnetic field. Why is it the magnetic field? It's not. I'm just trying to confuse you to the nth degree in this video, all right? <laughs> it's the electric field. I think I need more sleep. So, uh, the electric field is going to be uh, equal to something. We don't know what it is, but we do know the direction. So, what's the direction? East, all right? Now, how do we find the magnitude? Well, anytime now I start thinking about magnitude, I just start thinking about calculations, formulas, right? We're... We're told the force value. They said it's 4.8 times 10 to the minus 17 newtons. We know the charge of a uh, electron, so therefore we can find the electric field strength by using the formula. The electric field strength is equal to the magnitude of the force that's exerted on a charge divided by the value of that particular charge. So here we can just now plug in, right? The force is going to be 4.8 times 10 to the minus 17th, all then divided by Q which is now going to be, now you can plug in the negative sign here if you wanted. You can plug in the double negatives, right? The force is pointing to left. The charge here uh, for Q would be also negative, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And then that would help us out also in terms of the sign for the electric field. I want you to also know it conceptually to help you out later. All right. So this is going to be 4.8 times 10 to the minus 17th divided then by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And we get about 300. So 300 newtons per coulomb all right those are the units of electric field so we got the magnitude and the direction 300 newtons per coulomb east letter b what is the magnitude direction uh, force does this field exert on then a proton so now we got to talk about so now we're keeping the field constant but now we're going to change instead of this being an electron we're going to change it to a uh, proton so why don't i just put in a little another dot, make this thing positive. What's the direction of the force now? If this is negative, uh, excuse me, if that's positive on the left and negative on the right, and this thing is positive, what's the direction of the force? It's going to be pushed away from the like charge, right? Same charge and pulled towards the opposite charge. So we know the force is now pointing in the exact opposite direction. And how do we find it? Well, again, we're going to use the same formula. The electric field strength is equal to the force applied to a particular charge divided by the charge value of that charge. So solving this 
for force, we realize it's going to be equal to the electric field strength multiplied by the charge. And then we can now just plug in, right? So this is 300 newtons per coulomb uh, pointing to the right so we can label it as a positive value. The charge of a proton, you got to memorize this, it's the same as the magnitude of the electron, just positive. So it's 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And all we now need to do is just basically plug that on into the calculator. So that's going to be 300 multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And we get about 4.8. So 4.8 times 10 to the minus 17th newtons. All right. And again, it's positive, And that's what we kind of realize here. It should be pointing to the right. Okay. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. You guys have a great day.